I'm Jared, Onboarding and Services Manager, and I switched from Intercom to AppQs. And for more interviews like this, click below. So we started with Intercom, uh, and what it helped us to do was communicate with customers in app uh, so we could provide updates on the product, if uh, there's going to be anything with customer service for holidays where we might be out of the office or office might be closed, you know, uh, we would provide updates through uh, that tool. And then we could also gain data and information on our users that were logging in, um, such as you know, where they were logging in, uh, how many times they were logging in, who was logging in, like which users for which accounts. Uh, so that it was, it was a wealth of, of information and data that we were able to use. Uh, but when we switched to AppQs, what AppQs allowed us to do is in addition to gathering all of that and, and being able to do everything that Intercom could do, it also allowed us to um, provide uh, user like work flows through uh, with in-app messaging. So essentially we could walk customers through um, setting up their accounts, uh, pointing out new features to them, uh, and guiding them through rather than it just being kind of a pop-up in the bottom right corner, which was uh, how Intercom worked at the at the time. AppQs is best for uh, someone who's, if you're looking to automate the process for onboarding new users, uh, getting them familiar with your platform, uh, and being able to you know cut down on staff time, right, where you can automate that whole process, uh, it's a great, great solution. You can segment your, your flows and your different queues. Uh, so if you want certain users to experience uh, a certain uh, message or uh, walk through a certain uh, series of steps in app, uh, you can set up those, those different segments based on who's, who's logging in. In addition to that, you get all of um, the user data, like logins, like, like time that they log in, number of logins, uh, who's logging in, uh, ge geographic information, anything that's available, um, all of that data is provided in there as well. And uh, you can uh, set up different automations also triggered and based on that, that data. So it's an incredible tool, especially for if you're a lean team uh, and you're really just looking for a way to automate your platform and, and help users get set up faster without having to, you know, have a, a bunch of overhead or hire a, a huge implementation team. Uh, AppQs is, is, uh, is just, it's phenomenal. Intercom is best for um, if you're maybe a, a smaller, newer company just trying to get off the ground, you're looking for a more affordable option, uh, I would definitely check out Intercom. It allows you to communicate with customers in the bottom right corner. Uh, I think typically in the bottom right corner, it'll have a little uh, pop-up like in-app messaging. So you can communicate updates to uh, your users. You can provide uh, like links to uh, your knowledge base, maybe helpful videos, things like that, depending on what pages they go to. Uh, you can have certain uh, messages, you know, pop up, and depending on who, like, you can segment based on who those users are. Um, if you want to interact with people in different ways, so it's it's a very affordable option. You know, uh, there's definitely some uh, higher end tools out there that can do a quite bit more than Intercom can do. But what's nice with it is it's really quick and easy to set up, and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. So if you're just looking for something in app to be able to communicate with your users. Um, it's not going to break the bank. It's a great solution. So getting started with both softwares mm -hmm. is super simple, uh, which you would expect mm -hmm. if it's a tool that is designed to, you know, uh, easily communicate in app with customers. Um, in terms of getting it set up on your your platform, uh, we just had our engineering team uh, embed some code, and then we were able to go in and create all the different messages that we wanted, all the different flows. We didn't have to. Nothing was like hard coded where we had to have our engineers, you know, push it into onto production into a live environment for it to take effect. We were able to do all of it without having to reach out to them. So it was just a one-time setup, really simple. And then the interfaces themselves are, uh, yeah, very user-friendly to use, uh, very straightforward. And uh, we, you know, you, if you sit down for maybe just 30 minutes to an hour, you can pick, pick up both platforms pretty quickly and really, uh, really get down to it. When looking for uh, applications or tools like AppQs and Intercom, I mean, first, it depends what stage of a company you're at, right? Uh, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew, buy something that's over budget. Um, but at the same time, I would also want to find a product that you're going to be able to add into your, you know, on, on the front end that your users are going to see that's going to feel like your product. Like it's going to have the ability to cust be customized. 
Um, so stylistically, you know, it feels like it's just part of, it, it's a very uh, fluid and, and um, uh, integrated experience for your, your users. Uh, and it really depends on the complexity of your product too. You know, if, if, if it's pretty basic and it's really just kind of more of a, a messaging that you need to be able to do, but you don't really need to walk users through uh, the platform in and of itself, if it's, if it's pretty simple, or maybe you have some of that already built into your product, then something like Intercom I think is, is what you're looking for. If uh, you do have more complex workflows that you need to be able to take users through, then uh, you know something like like an app cues is a game changer, right? Um, it's going to lead to to better retention of your customers. You got so you got to think through that, you know, with retention, with uh, being able to to uh, provide messaging, and also you really want to be sure that you're maximizing uh, your engineering team's time. So something that is really easy to get up on your platform and make updates to, where you're not having to um, reach out to your engineers every time to push something on a production.